The moon, as seen from Chandrayaan 3, which will be inching closer to a historic landing on the 23rd of August. Over the next few weeks, it will be positioned in a 100-kilometer lunar orbit and aligned with the lunar poles. After a precise landing site on the moon's south pole is determined, the propulsion module will detach from the Vikram lander, allowing it to descend from orbit. If Chandrayaan 3's journey till now hasn't been challenging enough, the home stretch has been described by the ISRO chief as 15 minutes of terror. That's when the lander has to fire its engines at the right times and the right altitude, while using just the right amount of fuel and making accurate scans of the lunar surface before finally touching down. For the soft landing to happen, the lander has to separate from the propulsion module and enter a 100 km into 30 km orbit which means that the farthest it will be from the Moon is 100 km and the closest is 30 km. When at the 30 km altitude, the lander begins to use its thrusters to navigate down to the surface. This is referred to as the pod braking phase. While the thrusters help in keeping the lander from crashing, the lander reorients itself to 90 degrees for a safe landing. Then at around 100 meters altitude, the lander scans the lunar surface looking for obstacles. If there are no obstacles, it will begin a slow descent. The thrusters will keep firing till touchdown. But this is a mammoth task. Soft landing a lunar module will require going from a speed of over 6,000 kilometers per hour to zero. Just hitting the brakes will not help the situation. And this is precisely where Chandrayaan 3's predecessor, Chandrayaan 2, crashed while landing. Even if the speed is reduced, there is the issue of lunar dust to deal with. While touching down on the Moon's south pole, the lander's thrusters will blast lunar dust off the surface at high speeds. Lunar dust is fine particles of the Moon's surface, but when it's blown, it can cover the camera lens and obscure vision for a couple of minutes. The extent of dust coating on landers may vary, but according to NASA, even a small quantity of dust can have a significant effect on temperature control and optical performance of hardware. On the back of the minds of ISRO scientists will be glitches that ended the journey of Chandrayaan-2. But Chandrayaan-3's lander thrusters have been improved. While Chandrayaan-2 had five thrusters in all, Chandrayaan-3's lander has only four. This will make it easier to maintain equilibrium ISRO has made the lander's legs sturdier, giving it larger solar panels and increased its fuel-carrying capacity. The equipment has been tested by soaking in temperatures as cold as those in the Moon and running landing simulations on surfaces similar to the lunar surface. Even the landing site chosen for Vikram in this mission is larger than that of the previous mission, measuring 4 km by 2 km. Once landing safely, India will be the first country to touch down on the Moon's south pole. After landing, the Pragyan rover will be released to study the lunar surface. The six-wheeled vehicle has instruments configured with payloads to provide data related to the Moon's surface. It will gather data and analyze the chemical composition of the lunar surface, rocks and soil. It weighs about 26 kgs and has a mission life of one lunar day or 14 Earth days. In the end, this mission will be an unprecedented lunar landing accomplishment for India and paves the way for future interplanetary missions.